The National Trust for Jersey had its beginnings in the 1930s as a response to the increasing amount of speculative building and ribbon development. It was founded by a small group of people whose aim was to preserve the natural beauty and historic places of Jersey for everyone to enjoy forever. It began with a small membership, which grew, and we're hoping that our membership will amount to 6,000 people by 2022. It is your support that has enabled us to do this, and we need that support more than ever so that future generations have the possibility to enjoy our beautiful places in the way we do now. 2020 has been a difficult and challenging year. Many of us have turned to the natural world for comfort, support and relief. Turned to our coastlines, wetlands, meadows and woods. As Octavia Hill, one of the founders of the National Trust in the UK said, we all want quiet, we all want beauty, we all need space. These sentiments are probably more relevant today than ever before. Thanks to our dedicated lands team led by John Parks and our much cherished volunteers, the Trust has been able to carry on its work safeguarding our natural places during the global pandemic. Our hedgerow planting scheme the hedge fund has planted 20,000 whips, that's 10 miles, since 2019. And a new woodland is being planted with 6,000 trees, of which 1,000 have been planted this year so far. Our lands team maintain 19 kilometres of footpaths and 1,800 verges of land for you to enjoy. Our team continue to protect and safeguard our coastal birds and the puffin colony has seen a small but positive increase this year. The Trust continues to protect our beautiful coastline and three areas of it were acquired in 2019 thanks to the generosity of our supporters. Under our staff's care, we have seen an improvement in the diversity of wild orchids in our wetlands, including one species that hasn't been seen for over 60 years. During lockdown, Donna Lamarack and her team have developed an activity hub on our website with inspirational activities and different ways to enjoy nature for you to do on your own or with your families, whether indoors or outside ranging from self-guided walks and trails to virtual video tours and podcasts on our digital hub. Have a look, it's excellent. As we have moved to level two of the lockdown here in Jersey, the National Trust have begun that enormous task of opening some of our sites to the public, beginning with the Wetland Centre in St Juan's Bay, so that you can admire the wildlife living in on and around St Juan's Pond and have a glimpse of the magnificent Marsh Harrier birds that thrive there. Next month we are planning to open two of our heritage sites, the Georgian House in New Street St Helia and the Kettervel Mill in St Peter's Valley. Details about opening times will be available on our website. Catherine Ward and our staff continue to make plans for future Trust events and activities for this autumn and 2021. We will keep you all posted. We can't wait to welcome you all back. As we emerge from the pandemic, the mission of the National Trust for Jersey remains the same, to permanently protect Jersey's natural beauty, rich wildlife and historic places for everyone to enjoy and experience. The natural world is a reminder to us all that it will be there waiting for us to experience and enjoy when this pandemic is over. As President of the Trust, I wanted to say how enormously proud I am of our wonderful staff, ably led by Charles Aluto, our dedicated and loyal volunteers and our valued Trust members. I wanted to say a big thank you to all of you for your support and what you do. That support is absolutely essential 
to all we achieve every day. It has been a privilege to be part of this team. Thank you all.